here is the tech journal someone wanted to see. Um, dashboard, table of contents, writing rubrics. This is Music Mondays. They listen to a piece of music. I give them the title composer. They tell me the emotion, feeling, or mood created by said music. Then we have Tool Tuesdays. They tell you the title. You give them one of these little things, and then you they can either look it up or you can give it to them. You can give them the name, where you have it, um, and then its purpose. Words Wednesday. This is very much like my other one. Nice. Kitty. Then we do Terms Thursday. They're self explanatory. And Fab Friday is something fun. I just ask them a question and then they answer. Get to know them better. Alright. Now to the full doubles. So. The first is stage types, and then they take some notes on the different types. Then we have this foldable where we draw them, and they are labeled underneath. Um, this is the different labels of a proscenium stage. This is just our, the one that my last school, so like apron. This is where the orchestra would be. Uh, it talks about the wings. This is where SM usually is in their house. Then this is a curtain one. And you have them labeled the different types of curtains. Then we have tech jobs. Then this is about the different types of tape. And like they tell you, you tell you on the inside what type of tape it is and what it's used for. Then I do, I found this online somewhere. This is a unit set model. And so they have to work in scale. And they have to cut out these pieces. I added these because I noticed, hey kitty, that I know platformer ramp ones. Then we followed this up with how to draw a ground plan. This is what I showed them, like how it was, and then they did their own. This is probably my favorite. This is elements of design. Open it up. Talks about color, texture, etc. It's a good foldable. Uh, costume notes, nothing cool there. Makeup notes, these have all changed. Prop notes. Which I think I got this stuff off of Teachers Pay Teachers, the prop one. Um, I made this prop type foldable where I cut them out and colored them and then labeled them on the inside. Uh, lighting notes, then the lighting parts. You've probably seen this knocking around on the internet. And then we did this light and color. We put a color on, you tell me what emotions, three emotions, three words, atmosphere, so forth and so on. This one is uh, about plugs and stuff. So it talks about like DMX chords. What is DMX stand for? What is daisy chaining? What is the in and out on the DMX? And so forth and so on. This one is the effect of color and light on white fabric, black fabric, and then skin. Then this is the four qualities of light foldable that I have. Then I have sound notes. Then this is just like my house notes. I did a foldable box office information about box office people, ushers, information about them. Um, what to wear, what not to wear as house managers or house crew. Um, this was just some publicity notes. This is a foldable that folds out. I've got it smaller now, but there's press release posters and commercials. These are the three main types. Um, this is to do and not to do for poster design. So that was something real basic. There is a basic ticket design. This is some new stuff that I made up. So you have old age, you have them draw it with you, and then underneath you talk about like what it is. Talk about how to do old age. Oh, it happens sometimes when your tape sticks to other things. Okay. Um, bruises and abrasions, how to create them. I had what do costumes tell you, but I put it in my other one because it was hard. It took a while to make. Here is um, measurement sheets. So you just teach them how to measure or you show them, and then you have them measure a male and a female classmate. Um, costume design templates. This is for, oh, I think, yeah. 
Okay, so this is her makeup. And I'm talking about the bone structure and stuff like that. You want them to know that so that, you know, you can tell them, like, you want to have the, the zy zymatic arch stand out or the maximilia or the mandible. So that's some helpful things. This one I made up, uh, this is about um, lighting cues. This is an example of a lighting cue sheet on how you pre-program. So like these numbers represent the percentage of light to use on that number of your sub or whatever. So that's just mine. So like that's how you show them, you give them this and then you go, hey, I want you to pre-program these four cues and they're supposed to figure that. Then this is um, a lighting cue sheet. So like cue number, what page it goes in the script, where it starts, how it ends. Hello, Tenshi, I love you, you're in the way. Um, SMQ and what it happens. Yes, we very much love you. Flipping. Um, and this is just a basic lighting area. I just took a template of a stage and then I made some circles and this coincide with the lighting areas from my last school. So it's blank so you can put in the numbers because some people number them this way one through and so forth but ours was numbered that way. Um, this is a foldable that I made for um, the different types of sound equipment. So like microphone, cables, mixers, amplifiers, speakers, talked about them. And that's all I got. So, oh, there's my name. Um, it, there is my tech notebook. All right. Well, if you want to see more, just let me know. School's coming up for me in, in, over the next week. Um, so hopefully I still will try to post weekly other stuff. All right. You'll have a great day.